Hey guys, we're here and welcome to the 25th episode of K-Pop Comeback Updates. This is the first part, which means it's all music videos that came out this week. So if you want to see what's coming out in weeks ahead, go ahead and click on the link here and go watch that video. Otherwise, if you want to just hear me talk about the music videos, keep watching. So first for music videos this week, we have Lee Hyori, and she came back with her music video for Miss Korea on the 6th of May. The video is very simple. It's all in black and white, except for the last couple of scenes, and it shows Hyori and two girls dancing, and also solo shots of Hyori. And they're all wearing clothes that are from a very long time ago, like before I was born, so. Yeah. The song is very slow moving, but I think her voice fits it perfectly. I personally don't like the song very much, but I do like her voice and I think it sounds good in here. This is only a single, this is not the title track off her new album, so look forward to more Hyori soon. And go ahead and check out the Miss Korea music video right now, link in the description and teaser right now. Go check it out, guys. Next we have 2PM and finally after two years they released both of their title track music videos for their new album titled Grown this past week. The two title tracks were All Day I Think of You and Come Back When You Hear This Song, Come Back When You Hear This Song was released on the 5th and All Day I Think of You or ADTOY was released on the 11th. Both title tracks are fantastic in my opinion but I do prefer ADTOY and I will talk about that in a second. Come Back When You Hear This Song features all the boys in some like apartment complex slash like hotel kind of thing I want to say and they all have the same girl and they kind of neglect her at the beginning and they just kind of like do their own thing and they ignore her and so Chung Sung is in the bedroom, Nick Kuhn is by the pool, Woo Young is at a piano, Jin Ho is in a bar drinking, Jin K is hanging out by a car looking extremely hot. I'm biased, sorry. And Tech is sitting in like a lobby or a hallway or something and she was like talking to some other guy and he kind of freaks out, so yeah. There's also a set on top of the building which is really cool because it's at day and it's at night but I prefer when it's at night. It's really pretty because the speakers are white and I think that just it contrasts really well and it's really pretty. There's also a set on the street that's kind of them in front of the stairs and I think that's really cool as well. Yeah, at the end of the music video, she hears a song, because the name of the song is Come Back When You Hear The Song, and so she hears the song, and she comes back at the end, and she runs to the top of the building, and they're all, like, standing there looking extremely handsome, and she's just like, hi guys, and there's, like, little fireworks in the background, and it's really, really cool. ADTOY, Honey Poon, All Day I Think Of You, it's got quite a few names of the song, but this is my favorite title track. It features all the members with some girl in different rooms, and they're just, like, being extremely sexy and this is just like a great music video. They look really really mature and sexy and it's just an extremely hot video overall I feel and Jun K has a v-neck and it's just fantastic. The dance is really cool as well because they shake their butts. I really like the butt shaking dance and they use chairs as well which I like when they use other things but I always like I'm kind of nervous about it because like when Shiny used the uh, stands for Dream Girl, Minho's broke, like one of their first performances Minho's broke and I'm like that's kind of what happens when you use other things. The lines in both songs are distributed extremely well. Nick Hoon has improved so so much. I was actually watching the live earlier while I was working on the second part of K-pop comeback updates. He used to be so bad at singing like Hottest was one of my first fandoms in K-pop and so I was like Nikun can't sing and he used to just rap in English and that was kind of his like role but now he sings and he's good at it. So is Chung Sung. Chung Sung's improved a lot too. And I'm so glad Woo Young has more lines now because he used to only have one line and I was like he has a fantastic voice. Why doesn't he sing more? So I'm really happy with this comeback. Um, this entire album is really great. A lot of the songs are kind of like come back when you hear the song. That kind of slow kind of thing. And there's also like upbeat songs which I really like. So go and check out both these music videos, they are both fantastic, I highly recommend them. And go listen to the rest of the album as well guys, it's really good. So, links in the description for both of them and teasers right now, go check them out. Next we 
have Kim Moon-ju, and he is making his return with his second project this year after almost four years of absence. The singer has been busy with promotions in Japan for the past three years, which is why I really don't know him, so this new release in Korea holds much significance for him on his road to return to the domestic market. Um, taking on the genre of hybrid 80s synth pop, the singer brings in the help of Han Gru for this upbeat song. So basically the music video starts with him sitting on the bus going to school when suddenly Han Gru sits down next to him, pulls out one of his earbuds and starts listening to it. They become closer and they're seen together a lot at school and also at home having fun and laughing and just enjoying being with each other. Um, she then goes to his house one day and wakes him up with a kiss, and so I guess they start dating. Then they do the dishes together and have a pillow fight on his bed, and then after the pillow fight they kind of like sit down and their backs against each other, but then they go backwards back onto the bed, and then they go forwards again, and she's gone. He's the only one sitting on the floor. Han Gru is seen crying, and then the song ends with both of them being very sad. His voice is amazing. He plays the guitar. He's just fantastic. Um, I hope he sees in Korea for a bit so we get to hear more of him in Korea. The music video and the song are really nice, so go ahead and check both of them out. There's a link in the description and a teaser right now. Next we have B1A4, and B1A4 released their What's Happening music video, plus their fourth mini album on the 7th of May. I really, really like this concept. I really think it's B1A4 style. I love it. I love how they're not trying to be somebody else. They're doing what they're best at, which is having super crazy, fun music videos that don't make any sense. And afterwards, you just sit there like, what what just happened? There's a boy and there's a girl, and they're both wearing masks. They're the main characters in the music video. And I guess the girl is apparently cheating on the B1A4 members with Mask Guy. I'm gonna call him Mask Guy. In the second verse, Baro confronts Mask Guy and ends up being beaten up by him, and he then sits in the corner of the elevator and wonders what he should eat. I love that part of his rap. Mask Guy then tries to prevent the B1A4 members from getting in and, um, and interrupting his date with Mask Girl by boarding up the doors and, like, pushing things against it and just trying to prevent them coming in the whole time. They're all sitting by the door listening to what's going on, which is nothing, really. Then eventually they do end up breaking in and there's kind of confetti when they break in. I don't really know why there's confetti, but there is. And Bado gets his revenge on the guy by taking a pillow and hitting him in the head with it and then the guy's head falls off. And there's no blood or anything. His head just falls off and kind of rolls onto the ground. Then, Shinwu tries to steal the girl, and so they all start fighting over the girl, who's like standing in the corner like, oh, what's going on? Then the room gets covered in feathers, and I really like their box sets. They start dancing in box sets and all that stuff, but the story's basically over. Um, the only part of the song I find really weird fitting is the part that Bado and Shinwu sing, the little, like, rap kind of part. Um, I think it's a little weird. I don't think it really flows with the song that well, but I have grown to like it. Um, so yeah, the entire album is great. I have listened to it, so go ahead and check it out. Link in the description teaser right now. Next we have As One, and As One released their pre-release track, Love Is Awkward, on the 7th of May. Talented duo As One has joined the lineup of Comax with Love Is Awkward. Love Is Awkward is composed by Viva Soul Zuon and produced by Minsel. The song tells the story of a new innocent love for people in their 30s after having experienced the bitterness and pains of love. So this is just a pre-release for their upcoming album and As One plans to unveil their mini album in the coming months. So yeah, right now all we have is the Love Is Awkward music video, which is just like a book and, and there's like the lyrics on the pages and flowers and it's actually kind of a boring music video after a while. I'm hoping that their title track is going to be a little better. The track is really good, it's really springy, it's really sweet, I really like it, but the music video is not really anything special and it gets repetitive and boring after a while. If you haven't seen the music video or heard the song yet, go ahead and take a look. There is a link in the description and a teaser right now. Next 
next we have Nine Muses and they released Wild on the 8th of May. I really really like this song. The video is basically the nine girls looking sexy in various sets and then dancing in some dark room. When I first saw the music video came out a lot of people were like, wow they're like acting like sluts and I was like, I wouldn't call this slutty, I would just call it sexy. Does anybody else feel like it's not slutty? It's just them being sexy? Like, was 2PM's music video slutty as well because they were acting sexy? Is that the definition of slutty now? Is trying to be sexy? Anyways, Sweet Tune plus Nine Muses. Oh my god, they always make great songs together. I hope Sweet Tune continues to work with Nine Muses in the future. What I really like about this music video is how it's mostly white and black, but there's also red in it. And I love how the red is used in this music video. There's red clothes, and red lips, and red, like, nail polish, and, I don't know, just red. The link to the music video, and there will be a little teaser is next as well, if you want to just see a little teaser. So go ahead and check that out, guys. <laughs> Next we have Four Men, and Four Men released their proposed song music video on the 8th. The music video starts off with a boy and girl arriving at some vacation spot, and they're all excited about it because it's gorgeous there. They go outside and they have fun in the sun, and it's just really cute. They like play on the swing side, and they go in a boat, and they're just like suntanning, and it's just it's really cute. Then they go inside, and she makes food. This is like the second verse. She goes over to give them this these big plates of food she made and he's eating ramen. Not that I can blame him because ramen's delicious but she's all upset about it and so he puts down his ramen and starts eating the other food. Then they have fun with a lot of balloons and bubbles. Then they both go to bed and he leaves and then she follows him out and she finds him standing in like a little heart and made out of like with candles a little heart of candles and he has a ring and he puts it on her finger and it's so cute um, the song was so pretty and the video was just adorable and fun and it's just great so go ahead and check it out link in the description teaser right now Finally this week we have N Sonic and N Sonic released their live music video on the 10th of May. This is their first comeback in a long while after their debut song Superboy which was released in 2011. Reformed with new members and a few of the original members, the group is now made up of J Hart, Byo, Black J, Shihu, Min Ki, Zoin, and Yeon Joon. Along with the title track Lie is a coupling track television which leader J Hart wrote and composed. The music video is really dark and some sets are almost too dark that you can't even see the members' faces and considering there's new members and it's only their first comeback, you should see all the members' faces. Like, what were they thinking with that? There's a girl and there's a tiny storyline. It's not big, not even like worth explaining. There's really nothing to explain. There's one scene where he kind of grabs her hand as she's leaving. And I really like the guy with the red hair. He sings in the chorus and if anybody knows his name, let me know, please. Um, he has an amazing voice and I just, I love it. And I love his red hair. There's a dubstep dance break as well and not only the members but the girl as well dances. She kind of break dances. And it's kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. Afterwards, there's this really cool brick wall scene that's not really original at all, but I like the angle that they used with the camera for that. And overall, the song is really good. I just don't like the rap at the beginning. I don't like the way it starts. It's really awkward for me, but maybe you guys will like it. I like the rest of the song, though. So go ahead and check this out if you haven't already. Link in the description. Teaser right now. <laughs> And that is it for this week's K-pop comeback updates, the music video part. Um, if you want to watch the second part, go ahead and click here and watch the second part with all of the comeback glory. I think there's a pretty good amount of comeback glory for me to talk about. My question for this part of the video, while I was um, researching for K-pop comeback updates, I saw a form that was saying, what do you think is the best 
comeback of 2013 so far and what's the worst comeback. So I want to know what your guys' best comeback of 2013 and worst comeback of 2013 has been for you personally. Like, what song have you just been like, ew. <laughs> and what song have you said, this is a really great comeback, this is really strong, I really like it. For me, I'd have to say Infinite, of course, because I'm biased. 2PM, I think it was a fantastic comeback. They could have totally ruined it. But the music videos are beautiful. They're obviously well thought out. The girl groups. Hello Venus had a really great comeback as well. I really like their comeback this year. For worst comebacks, I'm going to say 4 Minute because they could have done more with it. It's kind of awkwardly structured. Boy groups. Teen Tops kind of disappointed me, not gonna lie, because they did the whole, like, this is gonna be a manly concept, and then it wasn't manly, and it wasn't mature at all, and I was, like, kind of disappointed. I liked the song, but I was kind of disappointed. So let me know who yours were in the comment section below. It's okay if you don't agree with me. Everybody has their own opinion. I'm probably not gonna agree with everything you say, so if you thought Infinite's comeback sucked, tell me nicely in the comment section below. Go ahead and watch the second part too guys and I'm gonna go film that so bye!